Hey. So today we are going to... Hey, I thought that was my part. Oh, I thought it was my line. No, it was mine. Oh. Anyway, today we're going to make some Halloween plates and I've chose a graveyard and my spooky... And my mummy has chose some witch legs that say which way to the treats. First, you will need some plates and some marker pens. So what we recommend is draw in the outline of your design yes. first. Because what I've realised is if you want to do a graveyard like me, well, I did the sky first and in the end I had to go with blue gravestones because the only colour you can use on top of something is black. So we recommend in, think about your idea at the start. Yep. Draft it, maybe draw it on a piece of paper. First. And then do the outline of your design on your plates. And, and you, um, the quicker way to do a sky is if you smudge it. So Lysia is demonstrating here that she is smudging, using the pen to do a little scribble and then lightly smudge. Because I've, what have I realised is I've been pressing hard and leaving white bits. So as you can see, I've done writing around my plate. So I've done the outline first, and I've now colouring in all of the letters. So I've chose to do a purple and green theme because I think it's really witch-like. Alyssa makes the best witch sounds. <laughs> <laughs> and at the moment I'm doing my grass. And you can smudge it or do scribbles but I did not but I didn't choose to smudge and now I've just done a little black bat you really can do any design you want you could choose scarecrows mm -hmm. haunted houses anything so uh -huh. these were two of the plates that we've done but we also um, filmed us doing two other so at the moment I'm doing my gravestones and I, I'm drawing my tree. So now I'm colouring in my tights. As in green see. and purple. And I've, I've just done a witch flying across the moon. And because I've realised that I can't use a colour on top, I had to go with a blue-faced witch. I think it blends into a silhouette theme, though. And I like that for Halloween. It all looks spooky. So at the end of this uh, tutorial, we've posted some pictures of our <laughs> spooky houses that we've done. So... They, if you'd ever do the sky by accident um, and forget to do the outline, you could always do a spooky black house on top of it and you'll see the designs that we've done at the end, um, which you can copy if you want. These plates are great for any theme. Um, last year we did some Christmas plates. Uh, you can personalise them as well with your names on them. So you could be Halloween at the Joneses, Halloween at the Smiths. And also, um, we will be doing crafts for every season and every month. So right now I am just colouring in my shoes. And as you see, she's done her gold book. And she's making sure that she hasn't left any gaps. So you can really spend as much time as you want on these.
but it may take a while. And I'm just, I've just read my Happy Halloween and adding, added a witch hat detail onto the double L. Spooky. So once you've finished colouring in your plates and you've done your design and everything is finished, and after you've done, you can put it in the oven. So putting the, them in the oven helps yeah. set the pen. So a bit like when you go to pottery and they, uh, they bake your plates or yeah. your designs or whatever you've done. But... So we recommend that you put them in the oven for... 30 minutes. And then you leave them to cool. Um, personally, we leave them in the oven, leave them to cool for a couple of hours so that that really sets in. And now you can see we've done our Halloween plates. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And please like and subscribe. Here are some plates. other plates that we do. Oh. Yeah, so that's my mummy's haunted house, and this is why one. Thanks, bye.